are you struggling with over there? <laughs> Let's look at this way. Huh? Your image precedes you. People will deal with you the way they see you the first time around when they see you, okay? So first as well, let's all mute our microphone because sound in the background that will affect anything I'm trying to say. So do me awesome. I think I still have about that need to be muted. Digital wheel, your microphone needs to be muted. Adeka, your microphone needs to be muted. Okay, Adeka, well done. Benjamin, well done. Digital wheel, please mute your microphone. Okay, so I'm only going to talk to you for a few minutes, but I hope with these few words of mine, I'm able to convince you and not confuse you that the way forward is to be an entrepreneur. The Ministry of Youth and Sports Development is doing so much to ensure that we give the best back into our entrepreneurs. So guys, I would invite you to visit the Ministry of Youth and Sports Development website or the noya.ng website to get some more information on that. Um, as our convener has said, um, I'm one who decided to leave where I was born and bred to come to Nigeria to share the wealth of knowledge and experience that I, I, I have with the Nigerians here in Nigeria as well as learn from the Nigerians here in Nigeria because the business culture all over the world differs and the business culture, um, not just the business culture differs and the actual culture itself differs. It's nice to, um, on, on the Zoom meeting I was on this, this morning, this afternoon, I was explaining to them that we want to have 360 knowledge of the world, 360 knowledge of, of anything and everything. It doesn't mean we need to know everything in depth, but at least if a conversation is brought up about a particular topic, we should be able to contribute intellectually to that conversation. So if there's something you don't know about, if there's a country that you haven't traveled to physically, you can travel there virtually. So say for instance, you haven't been to Portugal, go to YouTube play a video about Portugal, learn some things about Portugal. So when you're in a conversation the next day and people are talking about Portugal, you can contribute uh, uh, um, sensibly to that conversation. For you to be able to get far in life, you have to have a well-grounded knowledge. You have to have an added advantage. I'm a telecoms engineer. I'm a network engineer. I'm a media person. I'm a chef. I'm anything and everything I can because I don't know where I'm going to find myself in future. And I don't know which of my skills is going to be needed when I find myself in that particular place. There is no way you throw me to in the world right now that by the grace of God, of course, but by my own handwork as well, I will not be able to try my best to survive. So as an entrepreneur, you need to understand what is the gap in the market? How can I fill it? look for a problem and provide a unique solution when you provide a solution now look for um now look for innovative ways to develop your own solution don't copy what other people have out there because i've noticed that we young nigerians we tend to enjoy oh you know uh, this person just started a, a fish farm so i want to start a fish farm agriculture is great but is it your passion is it what you really enjoy and is it just because somebody in the, in the next street or on Instagram started this that you want to start yours? Think about what you are passionate about. Think about what you can do with ease. If they wake you up at 2 a.m. and say to you, oh, um, Adeka, can you do this? Benjamin, can you do this? Ify, can you do this? You would do it with joy. You would do it with every part of your body because it's what you love doing. You've asked me to come to speak to you on this Zoom meeting at almost nine o'clock. And you can see I'm talking and talking and talking away. If you leave me here till 12 midnight, I'll continue talking to you and I will not buy you data because I enjoy talking. I'm doing what it is that I personally enjoy. So I've taken um, a, a part of my life what I've done is I've taken my passion as well as what I'm good at and an environment that I've been able to find myself in, which is helping others, helping young people. And truth be told, I'm being paid for combining those three things. So for combining the zeal to communicate as well as the zeal to help people, as well as the zeal to learn from people, because communication is not just a one-way traffic, it's two ways. I need to give to you, you need to give back to me. That's what communication is all about. 
And my zeal for these things is what has put me in a position that I'm in that I enjoy. Because if you don't enjoy your job and you don't enjoy um, your business, you're not going to have a very fulfilled life. Because the question you have to ask yourself, the number one question before you start out doing anything, ask yourself one question. What is success to you? Because success to you, to you, to you, and to you is very different. What is success to me is different to what is success to you. So before you even start out on your business plan, and so your, your answer to success cannot be money. So leave money out of it. But just understand what is success to you. How can I attain success? And how can I do it morally? How can I do it legally? And how can I do it with ease? Look for those things and look for what, how you can combine them. Then look at the fact that, okay, so when you've been able to find a solution that you want to turn into a business, so that's an MSME, maybe a micro, a small, or a medium-sized enterprise, then you now also need to look for external ideas, external innovation. You bring in that innovation to merge with the SME that you have, and kablau, you've got something a whole lot bigger. Your MSME, your SME must be scalable. Whatever your idea is, it must be practicable, and it must be scalable. The Ministry of Youth and Sports have just um, launched a fund. Actually, we haven't launched it, but we've just been approved, a Nigeria Youth Investment Fund. If you are a Nigerian youth, and you are under 35 years old, and you're listening to the sound of my voice today, and you don't get money from that particular fund, I will personally come to your house and fight you. Because you have all the tools in your hand. As I like to say over the last few days, you have the yam and you have the knife. So there is no way you cannot cook it for yourself. Make sure you look for where this investment fund, where there's information about this investment fund, it's, the applications will open by September. So position yourself to be one of the first 10 applicants. Immediately it opens. I need to see your application and your application and your application. And to be able to apply, all you need to do is be within the age bracket and have an idea that is practicable and scalable. Once you have that, the world is your oyster. Never feel defeated. Never feel feel the government in Nigeria is not doing enough for you. My father did not leave me properties. My father's sister doesn't like me. The man in the next street is doing juju for me. Don't think about all of that. You need to think, and I'm not a motivational speaker. I'm not here to give you the motivational speech, but you need to think. I am a winner. I am successful, and I will get it done. Regardless how many challenges or how many hurdles I face along the way, I will climb over each and every one of them and I will reach where it is I want to reach. You have to have those two things. You need to understand what is success for you and then you need to accept that you are already successful. There is nothing that will bring you down along the way. And in that way of speaking, you need to ensure that whatever it is that you do, because I always talk about the laws of the universe, you need to give in order to receive. It's not the person you give it to that will give you back. No, it's the law of the universe and the universe is ever evolving. So whatever it is you sow into the universe is what you will reap. So if you want to go around believing I'm a winner, I'm going to bamboozle everyone and trample upon other people's, still other people's ideas, they will end up, you will steal somebody's idea, build a multi-billion Naira business and somebody will steal your business. So you need to be, your moral compass needs to be right. Because whatever you sow is what you are going to reap. You need the added advantage. I don't care what your educational level is. I don't care what area of study you, you what area of uh, you, you studied in. So do you have a BSc? Do you have a bachelor in administration? You know, whatever it is. I don't care what you studied. Um, I, I, I don't care what you studied. What is very important is the added advantage what you put on top of it. So like I said, I studied a B -Eng in electronic and telecoms engineering. While I was doing that, I did CCNA. While I was doing that, I did CCMP. When I was done, I went to do project management, Prince 2, foundation and practitioner. Along the way, I'm doing other little, little, little courses. Make sure you do that. So that when they say, okay, we need an engineer for this thing, they'll choose an engineer. But then it's, they'll also look for an engineer that has project management and program management and communication skills. Okay, then they will rather choose you because you have a full package of what they want. Anything you want is within your hands. It is within your reach. 
you want to speak to President Buhari tomorrow, it is within your reach. All you have to know is how to activate it. You need to be able to activate whatever it is you want to get. So when we come up this conversation this evening, or when I leave you in the next couple of seconds, I want to leave you with a thought that says, one, what is success to me? Two, what added advantage have I given myself? Three, what am I doing or what have I done that might not be morally upstanding? And how can I change that? Four, how can I go out there and help someone? Because I've told you, sowing a seed brings back a seed. We're not talking about church seed or mosque seed. No, we're talking about practical seeds. Then you now need to look at what problems exist because it's only in solving a problem that you have a business. And it needs to be a genuine idea. So when you come up this one, even look around your room. Okay, I have to go because the Honorable Minister is calling me. Please, I hope you've all listened to what I have to say. And I'll be back with you again some other time. Thank you so much and have a wonderful evening. The guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the, the session with uh, Ms. Kemi. Hello, everybody. I really know how I really, I tried to pull her to come and talk to us on entrepreneurial thinking because I've been following her up, just like as I said, I've been following her up for, for a couple of years now and she's a mentor, she's a mentor to me. She has a brand, she, maybe she has a brand, capacity, PR, and she's doing very great in that. I have a fashion brand too, and I don't know of others, but the two I know. And she's working currently working with the minister. She's an essay to the minister of sports. So I I see she has she 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 span. She she was living in UK. She came to to Nigeria. That's the thing that really moved me. So as youth, we need to uh, wake up to the fact that. We need to do something for our country instead of waiting for people to, or waiting on the government to do something for us. We have ideas. We need to work on those ideas. Not just depend on the government to, to, to buy, give us depends of 30,000 Naira every month and becoming very lazy Nigerians. If she can leave UK, Nigeria and she is in the position she is right now because as I'm talking to you she's a she's a she's she's settled like she's settled so if she can leave UK come down to Nigeria and still make impact brother you are not an exception this is our land we need to develop ourselves with skills and, and, and at least learn just as she said we should learn one or two skills she said she learned uh, when she graduated, she learned, she had to take a course in CCNA, the Certified Network Administrator, the CCMP. She has to do PRINCE2, which is a project management course, and she has done so much. She didn't just sit down to because, because on the norm, I know of ladies that they just want to marry a rich guy. They just want to sit down and marry a rich guy. But she has really impacted to so many people, so many of us, it's really impacted us. And now she has spoken to us. It's not left for us to, to, to learn and emulate what she does. She's on Facebook, she's on Instagram, she's very active. So you can follow her and really see the updates, some of the updates she got. Her name is Anne, uh, Olua Kemi, Anne Melody, Ariola, I don't know how to pronounce the last thing, but Ma, forgive me. Ma, I know if you can hear us, really, really appreciate you for taking out your time to speak to us this evening. And this, you should do to you take it out your time to talk to us. I really appreciate that, and um, we, 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 we are saying thank you, saying that on behalf of this digital wheel team, 
uh, some of them have left already because they were thinking that you you are not going to speak to us. But we really do have for taking our decision. So I think we will call it already nine o'clock. Okay, fifty nine o'clock. So um, thank you guys. I don't know if you have questions for Mrs. Kemi, Miss Kemi, or any question at all in entrepreneurial thinking. You can throw the questions. Let's um, discuss. You can mute your 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 mic. Mm -hmm. Hello. Okay. If you can hear me, then I guess we can call it. Hello. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, thank you. I said uh, I don't have uh, much question, though I came in late, but uh, with the little I hear from her is so educating and challenging. I just want okay. to say thank you. All right. So if the video of this session will be, I will publish it on YouTube as soon as possible and send the link on the group. So please, you guys should okay. follow. Uh, you are in the group, right? Yes, I am. And I'm not. I, I chat you up uh, according to what you said yesterday, but you have not added me yet. Okay, don't worry, I'll, I'll add you to the group and I'll send the link in the group so that you can watch the full session uh, of today. Thank you very much for your time also. And okay, somebody is raising up his hand. Somebody saying she has to come again. No? I don't know, me too. I, we needed to ask questions. Uh, she has a lot to really give us. But I don't know why uh, the minister called. Uh, you know, when the boss at the top calls, you have to respond. So guys, uh, Mr. Adika Solomon, so I'll still talk to her if she will do a video for us. But the little she has, she has, she has, she did. The little she has done is educating and most of who's raising his hand? Okay, guys. Those of you raising hand, okay, can we hear you? <laughs> okay, hello. Yes, Mr. Ibrahim. I just want to Okay, I I really okay. want to say a big thank you to her for the insightful messages she has passed across to us. And she has really been a great mentor. And I wish her more success. Amen. And I'm hoping to 